mean, you made it to Worlds, got to compete. I guess, how are you feeling after that one? It's been a long way to get to the starting line. Yeah, I just had a long talk about this, so I'll make it a bit shorter for you guys. <laughs> but, yeah, I didn't think initially that I'd be competing at Worlds when I got injured back in January. I fell over on ice and broke my knee, and I didn't run for about three months. So I got a race in about a month ago and ended up qualifying, which was a pretty big shock. So just to be here um, is a very good feeling. And I feel like it really puts me on the path towards next year, the big one, the Olympics. Uh, but still, I'm obviously disappointed just to get my butt kicked like I did in that race. I really put myself up like the last week being like, you know what, like, I feel like I'm coming into shape and I feel like, I kind of felt like if it was a slow race, I would have more of a chance, but I guess it wasn't really the case. I was probably going to get beat like that either way because those guys are a bunch of 1250 guys so quickly, you know, and I'm just like, I ran 13.24 a month ago, and so I'm maybe in 13.10 or 13.15 shape at best now, so that's just the reality of it. So I'm disappointed about that, but overall, I'm happy with where I'm at in the bigger picture. You 100% healthy now? Yeah, pretty much. Like, just back to just normal running injuries rather than silly running injuries, just like rolling niggles and stuff. Yeah. So... Like, are you going to keep it rolling, I guess, because it's, like, at this point? Mm -hmm. I mean, you'd floated the idea of, like, road racing championships at some point. I road mean, to Latvia. Yeah. The road, road to Latvia is alive and true. Um, that's the goal for me. So I'll probably race Zagreb. I think it's, like, September 8th or something, a 3K there. And then stay in Europe to prepare for the world road running 5K on October 1st. Yeah. Is it important? Like, Zagreb, that meet helped you get into this meet, right? So is that yeah, one of the reasons huge. you're going back? Yeah, it was. Uh, it's kind of just the way it worked out. It wasn't really planned, but I'll be very happy to go back there, I think. I think it's going to be a little more competitive this year because I think a few people this year looked at it and were like, oh shit, I didn't know that was a gold race. And at 3K, you get a lot of points, you know. So I think every year people are getting a lot more savvy with like working the ranking system. Um, so I'll be back there, but I think a lot of other people will be as well. What's the mood among OAC about the 1500 final loss lately? What do you think? Um, they're actually both pretty happy. Like, I think neither of them would say that they ran perfect races. Um, they both, would, I think, look at the race and say they made a couple of mistakes, but still to come fifth and sixth. Um, even take Mario, for example, because he's in my hotel, so I've actually got to speak to him. Like, he, he did come fourth last year, sixth this year, but I think he feels like he's grown a lot as an athlete, um, you know, more of a package. And everyone else has just gotten better, you know? Like, obviously, we know Jakob's better. We know, like, yeah, it's not, like, it's just better. Us, yeah. Like, it's just better. That's the reality. So I think everyone still feels like they're taking a step forward, and I think... I think the way it is with really any event is like, if you can just consistently keep moving forwards, eventually on the day, you'll have your Josh Kerr moment or your Jake Wyden moment. I think that's how they're approaching it. So I think they're overall happy. All right, appreciate your time.